Well, as you might be able to see behind me, we got, we're just in a void. Hey everybody, uh, I'd like to say thank you for clicking on this video. Now, I do want to give you some fair warning. It's not the most exciting video I've ever made. Um, it's more of a relaxation trip, and uh, I was cutting weight for wrestling a little bit, so I was in a, more of a sedated uh, state of mind than a lot of times I am. But, you know, if you're one of those people who likes to watch, you know, this type of thing, go right ahead. I'd really appreciate it, but I won't uh, hold it against you if you think it's too boring to watch. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, I'm out here with my friend who wishes to remain anonymous, so I can respect that. Um, but we are at Lake One in the Boundary Waters, Canoe Area Wilderness, northern Minnesota. Um, and we're about to do some winter camping. Now, I got an extremely large amount of stuff because I'm kind of trying out. I got a tent. I've used it in my backyard, but I haven't really used it. And it's, I've never used it with two people. So, let's see how that goes with the hot tent. I have an ice fishing tent, too. We're going to do some ice fishing. I don't know. We got way too much stuff, and we acknowledge that, but uh, I don't know. We're going to deal with it, so that's the plan. We'll keep you updated. Alrighty, well, it's about very cold outside, and it's about 7-ish o'clock. It feels like it's 3 in the morning, but uh, yeah, we're pretty toasty in here. Actually, we got the old Seek Outside titanium stove glowing there. It's only glowing because it's super thin material, but... Uh, that's keeping us warm. It, it gets really cold the instant it like dies down though. So you got to be vigilant in keeping it stocked and stacked and full of wood. Um, speaking of which, our wood supply has almost run out. So I got to go out and get some more. Also, our water supply is very low, which means it would probably be a good idea to get some more. So that's also what I'm going to do. Um, however... It's probably, I'd say, sub-zero out there, so, which, you know, I know you Canadians and Alaskans and Minnesotans and Wisconsinites, um, yeah, I hear those Wisconsinites are tough. I just collected a bunch of firewood, um, my friends are sleeping there, now it's time to get some water, so, yeah. I gotta take this and, uh, actually scrape it off with the blade of my knife, which may contact otherwise. I guess I could use the back of my knife. It was kind of cold last night. Both Isaac and I were a little bit chilly in our sleeping bags. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. Um, made it through though. All right, we got our stuff cooking. I got my, that's my coaster for my coffee because it keeps it nice and warm. And we just got some water that we boiled and just keeping it warm, I guess, for hot drinks. Hot drinks are our main source of hydration at the moment. We got some oatmeal there. Um, looking kind of messy in here. We got brand new wood that we're going to stack. Uh, but we're doing pretty good, I'd say. Uh, mittens drying. Yeah, it was cold last night. Uh, well, for us anyway. But we we pulled through, you know. So it's a new day. Uh, unfortunately, the auger blade is damaged, so we may have trouble drilling many more holes. So maybe all that ice fishing equipment we brought is not going to be used very well. So that would be a big bummer, but it might just be the reality. Well, our auger has been damaged, so we've had to resort to using the hatchet, but we are doing some ice fishing, so see if we get, get much, but. All right, caught this massive perch. I mean, it's something, so threw them back. Now we're gonna go catch another something, hopefully. All right, well, we've been ice fishing for quite a while. Caught a bunch of tiny little perch. Um, and I think it's time to call it enough and go back, get some more firewood for later. And, uh, Get ready for the night, get some water made, get some nice coffee, maybe or maybe tea at this hour, I don't know. Yeah, but it's been pretty great. We haven't seen anybody yet, so. All right, just finishing up with some firewood processing. Um, got the saw there, the ax there. Um, there's uh, our tent's right there, you can't even see it, but it's right there and uh, we're about to head in there. Then get some water boiling. Purify that, then get some more water for tomorrow. And uh, 
yeah, we'll probably head out here tomorrow sometime. I don't know when, so having fun. Alright, that's how we get the water. Boom. Beautiful. There it is out here in the middle of the night. Nice and cozy looking. So that's where I'm crawling into right about now. That's right, it's probably about five, six o'clock and it feels like it's 10 o'clock. So we're gonna be heading to bed here soon, but yeah, just drinking tea, eating food. It's pretty awesome, I must say, must say. All right, Isaac's out going, getting some water, etc. cetera. Um, got the wood there and some birch bark kind of strewn about. There's some of our tea. We just got that like in coffee grounds, just drying out so that they're not like so sloppy. Um, yeah, we're nice and cozy in here. Got the mittens all dried out. Golly, it's so comfortable. I wish you could be here to experience it with me, but you know, I guess this is about as good as it's gonna get. All right, here it is uh, at the end where it's our final day. We're kind of got everything unpacked. A lot of snow melted, which is kind of nice. Um, that's what we were sleeping on. It's really hard to get a sense of scale, but we're just sleeping on top of that. Um, but it actually wasn't so bad. So tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so we want to be back for that. Um, that's where we're kind of heading out. What a great trip though. Lake one in the Boundary Waters. We got to still take down the tent, obviously, and you know, scatter our remains here, but pretty fun. Beautiful in here. We haven't seen a single person since we've been out here or any, even any footsteps, footprints. So we're pretty lucky, I'd say. What a fun trip. Well, as you might be able to see behind me, we got, we're just in a void. It's pretty snowy right now. So uh, we are fishing. We already packed up all our stuff um, and decided to just do a little bit of fishing before we head back. So that's what we're doing. But if it gets any worse than this, we gotta head back because our visibility is getting worse and worse as, as we go on, you know, so. But right now I'm not too worried. Well, nothing here. Um, it's getting real snowy. And we just decided we gotta get going. So it has cleared up a little bit, but the roads are gonna be quite the deal and uh, our tracks are getting covered. So you gotta have those as kind of a, a guiding thing. So we're heading out. All right, we're heading out. Next place we'll go will be the truck. That's crazy. What a fun time this was. Very nice to just kind of relax, escape, you know, so. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, well, we got the truck here and we're heading out. Man, that was a heavy sled. I gotta lighten my load, you know. That is uh, something I really need to improve upon, but we had a great time. I'm um, kind of blizzarded while we were leaving and now it stopped again. So I guess that's nice, it'll be better driving. So what a fun time. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you later.